morning students in the earlier video we have discussed about what is a secondary indexing and the entire explanation i have given about the secondary indexing in this video we will discuss a one numerical question on the secondary indexing for better understanding okay so first let me read out the what is the question they have given and what they are asking for us consider a secondary index is constructed on a key attribute so this is important key attribute means there are no duplicate values in that attribute on which what you are constructing the secondary indexing and we have 30000 records are there so in a data file we have 30000 records with block size of 1024 bytes file records are of fixed length and are unspanned of size this unspanned and span techniques we have discussed in the earlier videos if you have not gone through this videos i request you to go through those videos and come to this slide okay of 100 bytes and key field is 9 bytes and block pointer size is 6 bytes find the average number of block access to access a record without indexing means in without indexing how many block access are required to access a record that is what they are asking and with indexing if you are using the secondary indexing how many block access are required that is what they are asking okay so let me write it what they have given and what they are asking for us so they are saying that we have 30000 records are there so the data file is of 30000 records are there and they are unsorted because we are creating a secondary indexing meaning is that already a primary indexing is there on a primary key attribute on the same data file now we are creating an another indexing which is a secondary indexing on another attribute called b okay so with they have given that with block size 1024 bytes why they have given the block size we know that the data file is divided into certain number of blocks so we have a block 1 block 2 block 3 so on n blocks will be there so <coughs> excuse me so first we have to fit the records in a certain number of blocks the 30000 records so first thing we need to find how many records are fitted in 1024 bytes and record size is 100 bytes so we will find out number of records in a block how can i calculate which is equal to block size by which is equal to block size by record size okay what is the block size they have given block size they have given is 1024 bytes and what is the record size they have given the record size they have given is 100 bytes So one zero two four by hundred is equal to ten point two four, but we will take ten. Why we are taking only ten records? Because they have clearly mentioned that it is an unspanned technique. In unspanned technique, even some memory is left. We will not keep the record. We will keep the record in second block. Whereas in spanned one, even we will use that space. Means some part of the record we will keep it in the empty space. and the remaining record we will keep in block 2 so in spanned one the advantage is that we will not waste the memory but the disadvantage is we have to access two blocks per record whereas in unspanned one we have the drawback is that we will waste the memory however we have to access one block for a record but they have clearly mentioned that it is unspanned so i will cannot keep 10.24 records i will keep only 10 records i hope you have understood why we have wasted this memory because they have given it as a unspanned one so the number of records in a single block we have identified is 10 okay so in a single block i can keep 10 records if i can keep 10 records in a single block and we have 30000 records how many blocks are required it is very simple one straight away so number of blocks required to keep 
30,000 records is equal to what? 30,000 records by in a one record, in a one block, I can keep 10 records. So it is equal to 3,000 blocks are required to store this 30,000 records. So I need 3,000 blocks, block 1 to block 3,000 blocks are there for storing this 30,000 records. So first we will solve this question. Find the average number of block access to access a record without indexing. Means they are saying that find the number of block accesses without indexing. So there is no indexing concept at all. Without indexing, if I want to access, how many block access are required? Because this records are unsorted, okay? So obviously I cannot, if it is unsorted, I cannot apply the binary search. So I need to apply the linear search only. If I apply the linear search, they're asking the average number of block access. So what is the average time complexity of a linear search is equal to n plus one by two. Okay, so I need to have 3000 plus one by two block access are required to access a record in a data file. So we have finished the part one in the question. Okay, so now we will solve the second part average number of block access required with indexing, which is a secondary indexing. So we have 3000 blocks. Now we will come to the indexing file because they are asking with indexing. So we will come to the indexing file. In an index file, how many fields are there? There will be two fields will be there. One is the key value and another one is the block pointer. Am I right or wrong? In an index file, we have two fields. One is a key value and second one is the block pointer. What is the size of the key field they have given? Is 9 bytes they have given for the key field. Okay. And what is the block pointer size they have given? 6 bytes. So, the total size of a one record. One record is consists of a key value in the block pointer in the index file which is equal to 15 bytes. So the record size in the index file is equal to 15 bytes not 1024 bytes. Not 102, it is not 100 bytes. In data file the size of the record is 100 bytes but in index file which consists of only key value and block pointer so the record size in the index file is 15 bytes. So now we will find out. Even the index file is again divided into blocks. Am I right or wrong? Obviously it consists of certain records but all these records are divided into certain number of blocks. So I need to find number of records in a block is equal to block size by record size okay what is the block size whether it is a data file or index file the block size will be always 1024 bytes so it is 1024 by what is the record size is 15 see i'm not writing the bytes because in the new in the numerator and denominator it is bytes so i'm not writing if it is 1024 by 15 which is equal to 68.2 something Okay, you can use the calculator and you can check it. It is 68.2 something. So, if the, as it is a unspanned one, I can keep only 68 records. I will waste some memory. Is it clear? So, that's why whenever you are solving any gate question or any numerical question, each word is very important. They have given unspanned. So we cannot keep the sum part of the record in a block. So we can keep only 68 records only. We can keep in a single block. Okay. I hope you are understanding. If you have any doubts, you can ask the questions in the comment sections in the YouTube video. Okay. So now we can find it out. We have till now we have found that 68 records can be placed in a single block. Now, first thing, 
this is very important how many records will be there in the index file that is very important because in the question they have given 30,000 records in the data file so we have calculated now how many records will be there in the index file as it is a secondary indexing we will have what indexing we will have dense indexing am i right or wrong as the given question is a secondary indexing so we will have dense indexing in the index file so how many records will be there in the index file as it is a dense indexing we will have 30,000 records in the index file also so the number of records in the index file is equal to 30,000 so once you have 30,000 records and you can keep 68 records in a single block the number of blocks number of blocks is equal to number of records by number of records in a single block which is equal to 30,000 by 68 which is equal to 441 point something okay you can use the calculator you can check it exact value it is 441 point something if it is 441 point something then we need 442 blocks okay even the small block in the small block only one record or two records may be there but we should have 442 blocks so in the index file we will have block 1 to block 442 blocks will be there okay are you able to understand it or not so if there are 442 blocks are there now what they are asking find the average number of block access with indexing okay now if you see that the index file will be always ordered in the data file as it is a secondary indexing it is unordered but the index file will be always ordered so what kind of searching algorithm i can use i can use the binary search if the binary search is there what is the average time complexity log n base 2 so the average time complexity to access a block is log 442 because i have 442 blocks are there is it clear base 2 sorry base 2 log 442 base 2 plus 1 then you can ask me sir why you have added this one extra because i need to identify the record in which block it is there in the index file then i will use the block pointer and access the record in the which the block is there in the data file so this one is for accessing the block in the data file so it's the number of average number of block access with indexing is log 442 base 2 plus 1 you can calculate the exact value using the calculator i hope you have understood this numerical question on the secondary indexing I request everyone go through all my videos in a sequence so that you will understand in a better way okay so thank you so much and I request everyone please like view and share with your friends and subscribe my channel for regular updates thank you so much